Hi, this is Miss Sandra. It seemed like another good doodling day, so I wanted to share a couple more doodle designs with you. You'll need a pen, markers, paper, and if you'd rather start, you can start with a pencil and then color over it. Last time we did doodles with lots of lines, so this time we're going to use lots and lots of circles. The circle doodles look really nice mixed with the line doodles. This first doodle can look like a cluster of bubbles or a dragon's hide. Draw a circle on your page. And then draw more circles connected to it. Make them all different sizes, some big and some small. Try to have them all touching and kind of tucked in together. The smaller the circles, the fancier it'll look, but also the longer it's going to take you to make. Once you'd covered as much as you'd like to, you can color all the little spaces that aren't circles in between them. Now if you want an extra bubbly look, you can add a little curved triangle to some of the larger ones so it looks like light reflecting off of them. The second circular design can also look a little bit scaly. This one you start by making a spiral. And just like the circles, you can make it as big or as small as you like. Once you've got about the size you want, you want to curl it back in so you end up with a circle with a spiral in it. And just keep adding spirals all around it, sort of like the bubbles ideally you want them to touch, which is pretty tough to do. If you want to make them look even closer, what you can do is you can stop when it touches one end and then start it up again on the other side so your spirals look like they're overlapping. So you follow it around and then where it would touch the spiral, you stop. And you figure it would go around there, so you're going to start it back over here and go around. going around and curl it in when you want it to end. And same, you just do that as many times as you want, whatever size you like. I think that would make a good dragon. So see what sizes of circles and spirals work for your fingers and what styles. Match them up and share what you made. I did this one with a really small pen. It took a long time, so I think I'm going to send it to a friend who needs a bit of a cheer up. Experiment, see what you like. Enjoy!